Good day, y'all. Mr. Shapeful Day with Shapeful Day Homestead. We're outside, just open the door, letting the girls explore for the evening. A little silky. Kind of dirty. And you were asking about my pathway. It's melted because it's been really, really nice the last uh, couple days. It was like plus eight today, so. You guys will have to do the conversion because I have no idea. It's plus eight Celsius. Where's uh <laughs> Don't see crow anywhere. But shy. Oh, there you are. There you are. All right. I was going to guess before I opened that door to where it was going to be. Because they've been eating about six, seven inches a day. So, I was going to guess that seam where the, the buckets. Uh, so, check that out. So this is the second day I put the extension on. So that's going to give me what I predicted. Three, three days, maybe three and a half days before I get into the actual feeder. So which was another, so it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. I predicted about eight days. So we're, we're going to see. I'm going to leave it run right uh, out before I fill it up, and I want to see how much feed I can actually fit in it. So we can do that on camera. Alright. Oh, I see an egg over there. There's never hardly any eggs over there. I'm starting to be able to get up really high in the rafters now because there's so much bedding in here. Probably a bunch here. Hmm. <clears throat> I know there's a bunch of eggs in the outdoor pen because uh, in the fall when it started to snow, um, some of them were laying outside. So I'm pretty sure there's eggs over here in the corner somewhere.
You're going to get up in the punk pumpkins over there. Somebody will figure it out. Probably take an older hen over there. I don't like not having my basket. <clears throat> I haven't been getting that many eggs lately anyway, so... What have we got up here? Anything? Guarantee there's some down there by the brood and the the box where the hens are. What are you doing, girl? Get that comb a little bit redder. So I watched the thing about uh, the color of the combs determining whether or not they're laying. I have no idea if that's true. I've heard that before. Because she, she's really pale. And if you look at a lot of them, most of mine aren't laying, if that's the case. And most aren't laying. But it's also the time of the year, which everyone complains about every year. But, Every year, the birds take a break. They need a break. <laughs> the eggs have been really big lately. I got a silky egg. All right, so we got six so far. Now, however many's in that nesting box. What do we got? Freaky, freaky. Yeah, she, she's not uh, flipping her neck as much as she was, but she's probably getting sore. They got some, got a whole bunch of eggs. Holy smokes, where do you get all the eggs from? I, I know, I'm sorry I have to take them soon. It's almost that time. It's almost that time. That almost looks like a white egg. Maybe not in the camera, it doesn't, but... And I don't know... Don't be picking up the eggs. Listen. Sorry that he almost did a somersault, but right. 
So that looks to be what we got for eggs. They won't stay outside. It's getting late, so they're gonna go back in the coop anyway. We're gonna come over here to the fire pit for two seconds. Check on the eggs. So we got 13. Well, that's the first. Oh, Pikachu. See, I would have closed up the coop. Get going. Who else is out here? He's just running over there. They've been wandering far away now. Check over here. Crow was over at the garden yesterday. I can't wait to till all this up. Stay tuned for this. Plus, I got all the stuff that's in the coop, too. I'm planning on building a wagon. Right now I just build a, built a sled with that uh, luggage carrier. But I want to use um, two tires off of a bicycle on either side. I'm going to make like kind of a wagon so I can go over to there and dump it. I don't know if I'll build a dump or not but I could build a dump wouldn't be that much harder So like and comment, let me know when when you guys like to hatch. I like to wait till about April. I've been uh, hatching from April till June normally within those two months. I don't hatch past, past June because I find it's late. I don't want to, I want my birds to be somewhat mature going into the winter time because uh, Getting through winter, you never know what to expect. This winter was really, really good, but uh, not every winter's like that. So, next winter could be super cold, and you know you could lose a whole pile of birds. So, if you guys are somewhere where you're lucky enough to be able to run power, I mean, I'm running a extension cord right now out to the coop, but because I'm a hundred, I don't know, seventy-five feet away from the house. You know, you lose amperage, right? So you can only, you're limited to how much uh, power you can actually run out here through an extension cord, so. 
the best thing to do would be to actually put a like a hard wire like one I don't know what the proper name is but you can get an actual wire and you can I think you bury it in the ground and it goes over to like a panel box you could have an actual like house plug kind of uh, you know like as if uh, kind of like what I got in the garage out in the coop a little furry butt The boys get lonely when I don't go visit them every day. I'm gonna let them in out into their uh, outdoor pen here soon. Well, the door's still frozen in anyway. Once it on thaws down a bit more. No rush is gonna be really wet in there anyway. Hen fight, hen fight. It's not always a cock fight. Well, you pick this up, I guess. Latch the rooster the latch is on. I'm gonna change that latch. I'm gonna get a, a latch like my gate. Oh latch like this. And I'm just gonna put a, a rope through the through the door or whatever and I'm gonna do that to so that uh that latch because one of these days the roosters are going to get through that. See, if I'm not watching, they all come back out again.
So hopefully all your chickens made it through the winter. Every winter I lose some. Especially the older ones. Or like sick ones. They're not always healthy. They do get sick. Hey, come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. In the coop. Come on. Come on, come on. No, come on. Come on. Little silkies are fast for a little bird. No. Come on, try. Get them in. Go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Why are you gonna push? Come on, let's go. Come on. <clears throat> Case the chicken around the yard. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, in, in. I can get the stick now. You're going to be KFC. Let's go. Come on. She knew. <clears throat> Hope you're all using my ice scraper uh, hack. Kind of hard to do it with one hand. Perfect. So tomorrow I predict that's going to be down about halfway, maybe a little bit lower. We shall see. There. Thank God the cold's pretty well done. I don't know if I could scoop that all up, but she's pretty thick. You're gonna break your wing, stop it. See how high it, high it is? Good day. It's the most wood shavings I've had in the coop in quite a while. I'm not going to say ever, but... Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Cheers. Hope you're enjoying your day.